We're celebrating 20 years of Turning Point and programming that's changing lives right across the world. And uh, Dr. Victor Ladoku and Mrs. Kathy Edwards are here. You've taken us on a journey of uh, where we started and up to where we are now. Uh, one of the fascinating things for me is uh, in Africa, you watch Turning Point, you go to the Middle East now and you know, I can still get Turning Point. Um, what was it like in those early days? Were you, did you foresee that it would go so far? If I could start with you. Well, well, for 10 years, Kathy and I had worked on CBN World News, which was an international newscast, very similar to what CNN is today, but we were a precursor to CNN at no the time. No way. Yeah, I mean, CNN didn't yes. really exist internationally when we were doing something similar. And we, you know, we, we cover the world on a, on a weekly basis. And um, 10 years later, we transitioned into Turning Point. Um, but there was a little bit of hesitation and, you know, some trepidation then as to whether the stations that had faithfully carried us over the years would still be willing to carry a program that was now more, much more um, obviously Christian. Right, right. But let me ask you, though, Kathy, can you guess how many countries or how far you think Turning Point has gone now? Well, but we, Turning Point now is covering the globe. Really, you know, with the media that we have now. But when when we first started out, and we I started out with Tunde Osho with World News this week, and I think it was really um, only Nigeria, uh, Kenya, and maybe Uganda. It was just a very you know a very few countries in Africa mm. uh, when we first. Speaking started of out. Africa, uh, there's some incredible stories of uh, Turning Point being introduced to different countries. But there's one that I'm intrigued that I want to hear from you, Dr. Victor. Well, um, I, I don't know if this is the opportunity for us to even bring in our, our guests at this point, if, if that's okay absolutely, by you. Absolutely. Um, you know, joining us um, all the way from Lusaka, Zambia right now is um, the former vice president of Zambia, Dr. Nevis Sequila Mumba, a very good friend of Turning Point, a very good friend of CBN, and certainly one of my very good friends. Um, welcome to the program, Dr. Mumba. Well, uh, Victor, thank you so much. And Kathy, uh, what an honor to be back on air with you. And uh, may I take this opportunity to congratulate uh, CBN and Turning Point on 20 years of spreading the good news. I, I, don't, I don't know if you remember how we first met. Um, it was the first and only time in all of the years that I've lived um, in the Virginia Beach area that I ever did what I did. I remember driving and s seeing you not too far away from CBN. And the Lord spoke to me and said, stop and pick that man up. He's a pastor. He's from Africa. And you need to give him a ride. So I pulled up beside you and I asked you where you were from. You said Africa. I said, where are you going? He said, you said CBN. Do you remember that? I remember that, and I said I was going to see and I didn't even know where it was, and uh, so I was so happy to have somebody stop by. I remember that day very clearly, and uh, you know I didn't know you were going to become one of my greatest friends in life. Dr. Mumba, Mui were here. Let me ask you, the story of Turning Point coming to your country, uh, how did that happen, and what was it about Turning Point that made you feel like, yeah, I want my people to watch this? I think before that, it was also CBN World News. Ah, wow. We got much credits out of you, sir. <laughs> no, I think that um, my visit to CBN uh, was very good. I was welcomed there by Pat Robertson himself. That introduced me to the rest of the team. I was interviewed on CBN, and then I was introduced to not only CBN uh, World News, but also uh, uh, Superbook uh, uh, and also Turning Point itself, and they talked to me about that and the possibility of getting it on Zambian television. And so when I came back home, I started to work with the national broadcaster, uh, Zambia National Broadcasting Corporation, on the possibility of getting those programs on Zambian television. So that's how the long journey started, and um, we succeeded in doing that. And um, what followed is an amazing, an amazing transformation of a nation uh, through uh, that program, Turning Point, which basically was about the only program on the one channel that Zambia had. We didn't have many channels on television. So every Zambian was glued to Turning Point when Victor 
and curfew were on. And um, when Victor visited Zambia, he realized how powerful and how influential the program was because he was a star from the time he landed at the airport. Everybody wanted to touch him. So he was shocked. He didn't know that, um, you know, if he came to Zambia, he would be more popular than he was in the United States. So <laughs> that really shows the impact of that program. At, at, at the time, Dr. Mumba, you were a pastor um, in Kitwe, doing a wonderful job, and you had a program called Zambia Shall Be Saved, which I believe is still the passion of your heart. Um, but the Lord elevated you a number of years later. You ended up becoming the vice president um, of Zambia. Um, do you still have political ambitions and um, what's happening in both in ministry and, and in politics? And w what's your vision still for, for your nation, for Zambia? Well, listen, um, uh, when you came to Zambia, I was pastoring at Victory Bible Church and we have about 52 churches in the country. Uh, I got a passion uh, for politics. Uh, the Lord spoke to me uh, that unless there is morality and integrity, in African political leadership, the people of this continent will continue to experience the major difficulties that we uh, experience all the time. So I got involved in the political process and started the National Crime. So I got involved in the